So are you guys looking for that luscious loot? Well then, today I present to you the fastest and easiest way to obtain the Destiny 2 Mida Multi-Tool. Your journey begins in the EDZ. Near Devon K, you can find later on in the campaign a quest called Enhance. Go find the quest and complete it. If you're not entirely sure on where to find the quest in the Trostland, then I've included some sped up gameplay showing its location. Have you two noticed any strange fallen nearby? I swear I've caught sight of four-armed creatures that were, well, glowing. We've all been through a lot, Debra. Staying in your church tower for this long might have taken a toll. I would like to say that this quest is recommended at 260 power, but I did it at 240. It was a little harder, but nothing I couldn't handle. At the end, you run through an entire lost sector. You have to finally defeat this boss to complete the mission. Last but not least, destroy these canisters, which I made the mistake of standing right next to them when I did. Do not do this. Run back and speak to Devram K. I was a bit worried when we lost contact. You wouldn't leave me alone out here, eh? Now, thanks to you, the Fallen won't be making any new enhanced ether. But it's not quite time for tea. They've brewed enough ether to have a whole pantry full of the stuff out there. The Fallen don't give up easily, and we've made them even more desperate than usual. We might need to think outside the box a bit. Have any experience with that, do you? You heard the man think outside of the box. You'll notice in your director that another enhanced quest has appeared. Go ahead and complete that too. Then it's a rinse and repeat process. Return to Devram K and he will give you your final enhanced quest. This one will involve you killing an entire Archon Priest. Bungie is making you work. Once the Archon Priest is dead, you'll once more have to destroy some explosive canisters. Do I like killing myself or what? I bet you guys thought that was the hardest part. Well, Bungie is not done trolling you yet. You have to finally destroy a servitor on steroids to complete the final enhanced quest. No, but seriously, this servitor is a little shit. It runs away constantly. You'll see what I mean when you do it. Return to Devram K and he oddly gives you... What? Am, am I, are my eyes mistaken? The Mida Mini Tool? Yes, that's right. You are rewarded with the Mida Mini Tool. Now, if you haven't finished the campaign yet, there are some spoilers ahead like the new tower. You'll want to run over to the gunsmith and this is where the quest really begins. You can say he gives you a paper called Sight Shoot Repeat. The objective 1 is eliminate enemies with precision shots and objective 2 is eliminate enemies, multiple enemies, without reloading. It is important to know that this has to be done with a scout rifle. And when it says defeat multiple enemies without reloading, you have to defeat at least three enemies in one magazine. Once this is completed, go back to the gunsmith for the next step of the quest. He needs you to dismantle five valuable scout rifles. They have to be rare or higher. Once you have dismantled your fifth scout rifle and completed this step, once more, head back to the gunsmith. He will finally give you the last part of the quest. This one is called The Fall Will Kill You, and you have to get 50 airborne submachine gun kills. Use the Mida mini tool for this. This task is very simple for warlocks. Since the Dawnblade has a perk that allows you to float in place in the air for a period of time while aiming down sights. Also, you don't have to use the Mida mini tool for this, any submachine gun works. Once you've earned your final midair kill for the last time, visit the old gunsmith. He will reward you with the Mida multi tool. Yes, the weapon you wanted so badly and spent the past 403 hours grinding the game to get it. Anyways, I hoped this helped. I tried to make this video short, but make it contain all the info you need in order to get this gun. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the very next video.